Good evening, friends. Good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah. Welcome to another episode uh, on Candid Mina. It's going to be a very interesting uh, episode because uh, we're going to be uh, diving deep into some of the reasons why all these uh, present Bollywood actresses, they wear, uh, you know, skimpy clothes, they wear uh, near to nothing, you know, and what are the reasons why they're wearing such clothes? What are the objectives behind uh, wearing these clothes? And who are the people, you know, who are maybe instructing them to wear these kind of clothes in public uh, events, in public places like the airports uh, and, uh, you know, other places uh, in Mumbai and elsewhere. So, um, yeah, it's over to you. Yeah. So, friends, uh, you've been watching, uh, uh, you know, ever since, uh, see, around, uh, I would say, after 2010, uh, things have changed very drastically. And uh, the way uh, the actors in uh, in Bollywood movies or in other film industries, uh, as in Tollywood or in even in uh, Sandalwood, uh, have been have started dressing in a certain manner, where which leaves very less uh, to the imagination. So what what why uh, why this uh, sudden trend to discard clothes is something that has you know troubled. All of us, because why? Uh, I mean, when you uh, when a movie uh, should be based on content and the kind of stories that it, you know that are written for it, why the focus then on skin is something that has bothered uh, you know almost everyone. So let me just uh, look at some some images that uh, you know uh, we will uh, just came, uh, run through. Yes. So let us start with uh, Malaika Arora. You look at her and uh, the way she is seen in public. Okay, so she she always comes in clothes that are that do not befit her age because she's uh, now become uh, quite old and uh, she wears uh, nearly nothing, which is uh, gym wear or you know dresses that uh, leave very little to the imagination. Okay, and then you look at uh, someone like uh, Kriti, who's becoming even more uh, bold. Uh, uh, you know, looking almost like Urfi. Uh, Urfi is an exhibitionist. You know, and she makes her money through exhibitionism. So for actresses who are actually meant to uh, portray roles in movies to dress this way and come for, uh, you know, events is itself very, uh, you know, uh, sort of sick. And of course, you can guess who this is. Uh, this is Rashmika. Can you imagine? I mean, just a few, uh, you know, uh, years back, this girl was all covered in sari and, uh, you know, coming out as a very you know, a sort of Gaonwali type of character, you know, who came into Mumbai and suddenly she changed the way she started dressing. And, uh, you know, there are people who can uh, carry off skimpy clothes in a very, uh, you know, uh, in a soft way, but this woman cannot. And she, she makes an embarrassment of herself wherever she goes, because, uh, you know, it, at most of the parties, the, uh, you know, sort of emphasis is on wearing, uh, you know, uh, skin tight clothes, which have uh, slits and uh, deep cleavages, and uh, she's not comfortable because in South you don't wear these type of clothes. So yet there seems to be a, a big demand for this because whenever she's sitting with paparazzi, she's always covering herself up because uh, to show that she's not comfortable with it, and yet she wears it. So uh, there is a sort of deception in her uh, act. She acts innocent, you know. She flirts with the paparazzi at the same time. She wears clothes that are. Uh, you know, that uh, uh, the cabal would approve of, you know. And then you move on to someone like Janvi Kapoor. I mean, uh, the less said about her, you know, the better. Because there was a time when uh, Sri Devi tried to protect her children uh, from the public case and uh, used to, she used to admonish them and even in public saying that, see, you can't pose for these people. But uh, uh, the moment she died, things changed and Boni Kapoor is all for, uh, you know, her dressing like Urvashi Rothela. And you know the connect between Urashi Rothel and Boni Kapoor. So uh, this is another woman who, uh, you know, who's a star kid and who dresses even the even Kajal's daughter, uh, Nisa. She also dresses in the same way. And of course, Alia, we don't even have to speak about. So here, friends, what I, I wanted to uh, talk about is that, see, everybody knows that, see, uh, usually uh, they say that uh, what, what you wear makes you a person, you know, it uh, gives you a sort of a personality. So these actors are, seem to be going the negative way. 
And it's very obvious that sex tells, you know, these women will do anything to get where they want in life, you know, and we do not know what are, uh, what are the, you know, what all happens backdoor, okay, at the parties that Manish Malhotra or Karan Johar or all these people host, uh, Varun Dhawan, uh, what, what is it, are they on display there? Because the way they come dressed, it's like, you know, they are going to some sort of a, a bar, and uh, they uh, expose themselves. So are they, uh, you know, going there to uh, expose themselves to uh, functions where they dance for them? Or, uh, you know, are they having relationships with the businessmen there? We do not know exactly what uh, we cannot pinpoint it, but there is something very devious that's happening, you know? So, and uh, now you see that, see, and uh, when, uh, you know, when you uh, look at their, uh, uh, if you ask them, why do you do this? They'll say that, see, if you have the figure, you flaunt it, you know. So th this is this this is one, one of the reasons they, they would immediately tell you that, see, uh, they are working out at gyms and they're making sure that their bodies are perfect. And hence, they are flaunting it. Now, there's another reason that they also say is that they don't want to be upstaged by peer pressure, which means Janvi is scared of uh, Kriti and Kriti is scared of Ananya and Ananya is scared of other girls. So that's so they are pressurized to upstage the other celebrity. Now another reason that they say is that the fashion designers, you know, request them to showcase their you know ridiculous dresses, you know, and pay them a huge amount. Now it has come out from Janvi's mouth itself that you know whatever she gets in uh, through advertisements or you know is what you know she blows up for uh, for ex example Botox or for some. You know, it's something that they want to do, you know, privately to make themselves even uh, sexier. So they, they treat the, that extra money for blowing it up. Now, and then also uh, see another uh, sort of pressure they say is that to if they, if they have to be in the public eye, they have to always look hot. And hot means exposing more and more. Now, see, uh, if, you, if you look at Urfi, someone like Urfi, you know, she does it for the shock value. And this will, see, she was nobody till she started, uh, you know, exhibiting herself. And that's how she propelled herself in her uh, career. So the more attention they get, the more people follow them and the more jobs they get, which means in advertisements or in clips or in documentaries or uh, whatever, and a higher pay. Now they, they dress this way because they feel that men are attracted to them if they dress this way. You know, so again, going back to the uh, fact that, see, sex is uh, what dominates the scene now. And uh, see, these women dress in a particular way because there are many uh, things attached to it, many threads attached to it. See, uh, you look at uh, Kia, uh, Kiara here, you know, she is a, uh, she is a beautiful uh, woman, you know. She doesn't even need to expose herself because, uh, you know, because she's attractive, people will uh, give her a second glance. So, uh, but look at the way she's dressed. It's absolutely cheap, you know? And you wonder why, why this, uh, you know, why are they uh, exposing themselves when they, many of them don't even have any movies in hand, okay? Now, there is another problem also uh, uh, that uh, they face. And this is something that the cabal are pushing. The cabal are pushing them to look like whores, you know? And what do you mean by whores? Whores are prostitutes. Because they want to break up the society. And they want people to hate them. And say that, see, these women are cheap. They throw themselves, you know, to any uh, person who wants, you know, to have a good time. So this is the same thing that they would say with Urfi. Now, you, if you look at all the comments, if you go into the Insta, their Instagram, you will see that, see, hardly one or two percent are, are people who appreciate them. The others are all demeaning, vulgar, you know, comments where they say that half of the uh, time what they mean is that they want to sleep with them. So how do these women, uh, you know, tolerate this kind of uh, comments that come from the social media? Now, when you uh, when you come from a very, uh, you know, sort of a middle class, you're always told, you know, by parents, you know, you conduct yourself in a certain way. You dress in a certain manner, you know, because uh, your habits become your character after some time and it's always important to dress well and to be respected these are the moral uh, values taught to uh, middle class children 
But here, when you see parents themselves dressing in this manner, what is the option that these children have? See, because you have to just look at one of these Karan Johar, you know, uh, these uh, fossilized wives, uh, uh, you know, sagas. You'll see that they're not dressed in the normal manner that a woman would dress. Okay. And they're not women who are in their mid, you know, uh, 20s who can plot their uh, figures. They are all beyond uh, the age and they look rather pathetic, you know, trying to uh, uh, look for attention. So when such women are going around planting their, uh, you know, their looks by exhibiting their, you know, themselves so cheaply, children will also uh, follow suit. Now here there's a deeper, uh, deeper meaning to it, you know, when you come to the Bollywood industry. So let me just take you to some of the other pictures uh, that we've done. Uh, uh, Jerry, can we move on to uh, the earlier one, the first few images that we had of uh, uh, Jacqueline Fernandez. First few images. Let's go first with the first few images. Right to the beginning. Yeah. Now here, friends, you'll see uh, Katrina Kaif with Salman Khan. They were going to Russia to, uh, to uh, you know, make the movie uh, Tiger, Tiger 2. And uh, th it is at this time they pass through Turkey. And this man is supposed to be a very charming minister, Mehmet. Okay. And uh, he's a very charming, handsome uh, minister, which means, in other words, he's a playboy, is what they, uh, you know, uh, put in the uh, media. Now, he had a party for these people. And uh, they, you know, called other Turkish people as well. Now, everybody was looking at Katrina Kaif. Now, Katrina Kaif was also, uh, you know, uh, seemed to be very comfortable in the company of these people. Now, see, why do these, uh, why do these actors like Salman Khan take these women to such parties? Now, it's very obvious that, see, there may be a lot, lot of other reasons also. If you look, look into the background, there could be many other reasons why, you know, uh, beautiful actresses like them are taken to such parties. We cannot no, this, is, uh, this, I believe, is in Turkey, right? Yes, this is in Turkey. So you and can see that uh, uh, Katrina is quite uh, well-dressed and covered in this particular picture because... Uh, Turkey is an Islamic country and we will not tolerate. Yeah. Uh, you know, no, I'm not talking about uh, her dress in this. I'm talking yeah. about the, uh, uh, you know. The, yeah, this is also, I mean, a point to note. Yeah, I'm talking about the effect of, uh, you know, these people's personality. For, because half the time she's uh, semi-naked. So, so here again, you see that there is entertaining also happening. Now, do these go actresses go there as ambassadors? Do they go there as escorts? Do they go for any other purpose? That can be only known when you are, if you are at the party. But we can guess, okay? Because there have been many purpose. Now let me get to the straight to the uh, fact of, of uh, the, an incident that happened in 2016. You know, where some Indian actresses were caught in a U.S. prostitution racket, okay, in the U.S.A. Now the arrest of an Indian couple in the U.S.A who allegedly ran a, pro a prostitution ring by luring female actresses from India, has shone a, a spotlight on the casting couch allegations surrounding the Southern Telugu language film industry. Now, many of you have asked me that, see, is the Tollywood uh, you know, uh, film scene also the same? And I've already, always told you that there is a mafia there in Kerala, in Tamil Nadu, you know, and Sandalwood as well. Now, here... If you look at the story, it's really very, uh, you know, it makes you shocked. See, also known as Tollywood, uh, it is one of the, uh, India's biggest regional film industries and routinely produces blockbusters, uh, you know, uh, and the hits that rival Bollywood. Now, Kishan Modu, Moduku Modi is the man and his wife Chandra arranged for at least five Telugu actresses to travel to the US on the pretext of attending cultural events as performers or guests. The women were allegedly taken to the events where the Modugumudis, you know, their name is quite uh, tongue twister, Modugumudis, would identify potential customers who would pay to have sex with the actresses. Men allegedly paid anywhere between $450 to $2,500 for a single sexual encounter. Now, the BBC Telugu at that time had acquired a copy 
of the 42 page affidavit that details the charges and evidence against the couple who appear to have been under investigation by the US Department of Homeland Security in 2018. Now, the couple were arrested at the end of April and a court heard the charges against them. They have not entered a plea or made any public statement. But the case has got a lot of attention in the Telugu uh, news media in India. According to the affidavit, Mr. Modugu Modi first arrived in Chicago in April 2015 and his wife joined him a few months later. He said to have claimed in his visa application that he was involved with the Telugu film industry and wanted to travel to the US to make contacts. The couple's visas expired six months after their arrival, but they stayed on. The affidavit also stated that they were arrested in January for overseeing as part of a, a separate investigation, but uh, they were released in, uh, on bail in February. Now, the immigration officers are said to have first suspected the couple, you know, after questioning an actress who had arrived last November to attend an event in California. But according to the affidavit, the officers found the event she referred to had happened two days earlier. And when they contacted the organizers, they said they did not know the woman and that she had not been invited as a guest. She apparently said her visit to the U.S. and her stay there had been arranged by a man named Raju, who officers say was an alleged alias for Mr. Modu, uh, Modugumuri. Now, in the months that followed, investigators said they watched the home of the Modugumuris and eventually obtained a search warrant for it. In the house, they discovered alleged fake visa letters and what they believe is a ledger of prostitution that mentions the names of the victims, the sexual acts, and the payments received. The affidavit lodged with the criminal complaint mentions five different women, all Indian actresses, who were allegedly brought to the US for prostitution. The women are said to have sometimes stayed in the home of the Modugumris or traveled with them to hotels or even other cities to meet clients. Authorities interviewed one alleged client who said, they say admitted to meeting one of the actresses for sex. They also interviewed at least one alleged victim who told them she had been made to travel to three cities where men were sent to her room. The actress turned a return to India after her visa was revoked, but she allegedly told investigators that Mr. Modugumuri called her and told her that it would mean nothing for him to harm her if she talked to the police about him because she is small and unknown, not a big actress. Tamra Reddy Bharadweja, Bharadwaj, a Telugu film producer, told BBC Telugu that Modugumodi had no association with the producers, council, and official body. But others who worked in the industry said such op op operations were not uncommon. Now, you remember, friends, see, this sort of, uh, you know, film uh, programs happen all the time, whether it's from Kerala, you know, they take actors, actor, actresses, and starlets to these programs. Many of them are also used as mules to carry drugs, you know? So this has happened many times in the Middle East when uh, Kerala organizers would take act actresses there. So this has been proved many a times and they've been caught as well. Now in the in the case of, see, if you uh, take this, uh, uh, can we get the visual back, Jenny? Yeah. Yes, if you look at this, uh, you know, he was, they were invited, uh, you know, for the, for the IFA and this is Kamal Nath, okay? when he was the chief minister. And there are many pictures here where you will see the way he looks at Jacqueline Fernandez. And you know that there's something more going on. Of course, they're not going to tell you about it. But when they pay crows to get heroines like her on stage, surely it would not be for a dance you know, on stage. OK, so these are things that uh, you know, uh, these are some of the reasons why these women dress so provocatively. If you look at the case of Raj Kundra, he was literally running a pawn racket under your nose. Where all these people from Sherlin Chopra and all the other women, the, you know, the Gandhi Path lady and all of them were forcing young time, you know, small time actresses to uh, act in the films which were soft porn. And these women were running to the police to tell them that they were being forced to shoot for pornographic uh, films. So the ultimate aim of these all these people is to, uh, you know, to, uh, sort of uh, undress them 
you know, these actors were called for auditions and were asked to give bold scenes, which later turned out to be semi-nude or nude scenes, which were allegedly against the wishes of the actor. An actress, you know, a, a professional photographer and a foreign production company's employer are among the, you know, eight people who were arrested during the time that Raj Kundra was caught. And they also alleged that the actress Gehna Vashish, one from the Ekta Kapoor stables, Gandibat lady, launched a production house and pronounced porn clips on the pretext of making short films. Now, when the police arrested a man named Omesh Kamath, whose alleged role in the racket was to coordinate with a foreign production house regarding the uploading of porn clips on OTT platforms, Umesh Kamath used to do liaisoning in the country for the foreign-based company he was working for. And he was the one who was, you know, uh, sort of luring these young actresses to, uh, you know, to, to the sets to get them to act in these porn, uh, porn films. Now here, see, if you go back to these uh, uh, pictures, yes, so here you see, see the sort of, uh, uh, you know, bonhomie that these people share with the politician. So this is also very clear that, see, the kind of association that these people have with politicians. So neither will expose the other. But there have been many reports, you know, anonymous reports from uh, specialists who have said that some of these top actresses have gone for uh, surgery to, these, to them because of sexually transmitted diseases, which means, you know, they are sleeping with many people. Now, we do not know. Uh, see, we, uh, these are now what the images we are showing are just for illustrative purposes. Okay. Now, we do not know ex exactly the kind of relationship Kamal Nath would have had with this uh, lady or, you know, Katrina Kaif would have had with the, with, with the uh, Turkish uh, minister. But there is something very, very weird going on. Otherwise, why would these people, you know, uh, sort of strip, you know, at the drop of a hat? So an, uh, another point that I wanted to uh, talk about was you remember when we went, uh, we were discussing the Malaika fashion designers are uh, push these women to wear dresses uh, to make up certain point. You remember how netizens slammed Bollywood actor Malaika Arora for sporting a Balenciaga dress to design a Manish Malhotra's birthday party. Now, social media's, uh, media users termed Malaika's choice of outfit as disgusting and also called it a tone-deaf blunder. So wh why was she wearing it? It was something that, uh, uh, you know, projected, uh, you know, pedophile, you know, links of pedophile with children and uh, sort of bondage images and teddy bears. So this is something that she was pushing for herself or for Manish Malhotra, sending a message that this is also okay with. Monument. Now, she's a mother. How she did it is also very surprising. And she's not a young woman uh, who, you know, could have been taken by somebody's talk. So she was also, uh, you know, trying to push, push a narrative which was, again, very, very sexual and, you know, sort of uh, demeaning. Now, if you, look at, uh, if you look at other people like Sukesh Chandrasekhar, what was Sukesh Chandrasekhar doing? Sukesh so Chandrasekhar was very clearly saying that I have enough money, you know, and all you women who wear nearly nothing, you know, please come to my jail, you know, bed with me, and I'll give you a lot of gifts. So that was exactly what he promised these women, and that's what he gave them. Okay. Now, uh, these women, especially Jacqueline, uh, you know, she thought that, you know, nobody would notice. But when rumors around, uh, you know, start going around that she's going to get married to a billionaire and, uh, you know, buy a sea face, uh, you know, sea facing view house in uh, Mumbai, worth close. That is when people started noticing that there's something really, uh, you know, crazy going on. This was exactly after COVID when she had spent time with Salman in his farmhouse. So that's when uh, people started understanding that the Sukesh Chandrasekhar who is not, you know, he looks like a beggar. Okay. He could, on the strength of his money, his wallet, 
get actresses just like that and where to his jail you know he could fly them anywhere in his private jet sitting in the jail he could give instructions for them to be picked up and the kind of images that he posted of him and uh, jackie clearly showed that they were more than intimate and this would have also happened in the case of nora but nora very cleverly used the right you know contacts to uh, sort of escape uh, you know what jacqueline was under oh. now this is not only with nora there were other actresses also involved so what we are coming again back to is that see uh, what happened uh, perhaps before 2010 when actresses were dressed you know at least in a modest manner has changed completely now women just don't wear the clothes normal clothes that normal women wear if you look at someone like kajol kajol's daughter she is wearing nearly nothing and she's being dragged around by uh, sons of millionaires you know in a drug state or in a, a state of alcoholic fog so in uh, you know you would think that see what are these people trying to do are they trying to give you a message that see uh, the younger generation need to follow suit because these are your role models your role models are ananya okay uh, kriti sanon and uh, all these other girls like uh, uh, see uh, uh, kiara okay so they all wear these kind of clothes and you should wear them if you want to look modern now this is something that i i used to think that it's too far fetched but no when you look at the rich areas of the cities where you live women are dressing this way you know and if you ask them what is the reason why you dress in this manner they see that they like uh, men watching them you know and uh, you know uh, uh, remarking you know certain sly remarks at them they like it because they see that they feel that they are beautiful so it's a sense of insecurity that is making them dress in this manner they see that is the normal uh, you know middle class or upper uh, middle class girl says that it it is to get noticed that they go to all these pubs you know and dress in this manner but who are the people who are you know making them do it it is these you know uh, actresses and these uh, nepo kids who are doing it and in the process they are giving sending the wrong message to the next generation if you look at uh, someone like uh, uh, malaika or karina kapoor they are all beyond their you know uh, age of uh, you know youth and beauty yet they are so desperate to wear nearly nothing just this recent uh, uh, kid and uh, sid and uh, kiara's wedding uh, karina came with uh, i don't remember she came with someone and uh, karan johar we yeah, are with karan johar and she looked absolutely dazed it was as if she was heavily on something and she was wearing some dress that was so which was exposing same thing with kajal kajal also so wore a sari which is so you know which reveals her figure and first of all kajal is not very uh, fit so it makes her look rather vulgar now these are the these are the trends that the parents and the children are set and this is something very dangerous for our generation because we do not want our children walking around in uh, half naked you know because you know the kind of crowds that walk, walk the nights late nights especially when these girls come come out of the pubs and all that half the time they're drunk you see the way they uh, you know uh, come out of a pub they need to be helped you know by the driver you know or the security guard would you trust your children with these people never you know so it's very it's a very dangerous trend that's happening yes it is a yes it's this way where she looks if you look at that video you find that she looks absolutely uh, you know uh, sort of drunk so let me just take a few comments so true mina ji uh, they want attention they wear all skimpy clothes uh, feel they should notice anything if, because they are so high on drugs we can make out they are drunk says mitul like fatima bega not seen in her movies where is the money coming from she has a flat in dubai cars like mercedes benz volvo yes absolutely and uh, uh, true indian i miss the news amodi ji wants all corners of india to 
develop. Okay. Chitra says, most of these female stars are dumb and only way they can uh, uh, fool is to keep exposing. They get so many likes on social media and they think that they are influencers. I joined an acting school in Mumbai as a mass uh, communications assignment. Then I was told to act dumb on and off camera as men like dumb girls also was asked to dress sexy as sexy is classy for Bollywood. In fact, here, Munmun, I'd also like to say what you said is so true, because if you look at the mainstream media, especially channels like India today, they, they insist that the girls wear uh, Western clothes, and that also the tighter, the better, because they feel that it's not the content that sells. You see? So, uh, so yeah, uh, I would like to, yeah, I have made a few observations as to why these Bollywood actresses are wearing, you know, very short clothes, very skimpy clothes, uh, near to nothing. Uh, number one reason is, uh, you know, they are asked to wear such clothes by the directors and producers of the film to gain publicity for that particular film. Uh, number two is that uh, whatever dress or costume they are wearing, uh, there is a particular fashion designer and a fashion brand behind that dress which they are wearing. So they are doing uh, indirect advertising. Number three, there is an agenda as to they want to pollute the young minds of India by dressing skimpily so that, you know, the young girls, uh, the young innocent girls of India, uh, they would like to look like them. They would uh, like to look hot like them so that, uh, you know, they can dress like these Bollywood stars and, uh, you know, post um, uh, these photos on their personal Instagram stories you know, hoping to get many views from, you know, potential uh, boys or, you know, so, some boys who they are interested in maybe. So, they are, uh, so Bollywood is trying to cash in on, you know, the insecurities of uh, Indian youth yeah. by doing uh, that. That is where they're hitting at, right? And also, uh, don't forget the fact that, um, you know, they are, uh, Bollywood is completely uh, trying to, you know, destroy Sanatan culture in India or the family value system because they want to it's like a proxy war indirectly because they want to pollute the minds of uh, you know youngsters and they want to break the family values they want to uh, you know sort of uh, glorify materialism they want to glorify alcoholism they want to gl glorify you know spending you know, a lot lot Jenny, of money yeah, yeah. Well, what you said is so true because see this if you look at the clothes today it's like a standard uniform, you know. So what are you talking about? Micro mini skirts, okay, sky high heels and low tops, which was once worn by prostitutes on dingy street corners. Okay. Now it's a mainstream style adopted by almost every woman who goes for uh, to a club or a party who goes for any sort of cocktails. Now we wonder why do they cheapen themselves, especially, you know, at a time when young women have greater opportunities to reject these caste, sexual, you know, stereotypes of old. Because you, if you look at India, all the girls are outperforming boys at every stage of schooling. Whether you're looking at the workplace, uh, female employees are uh, starting uh, to out earn their male uh, counterparts. Even in then the army and police. Yes. Then why in an age of true equal opportunity that so many women are dressing in such a, you know, demeaning manner? So it's, it's, it's a message, it's a very clear message that is being sent by the cabal that, you know, the cheaper they dress, you know, the more they can be looked down upon. So it's just like a piece of tissue, uh, you know, which you use and you throw away. Women are being used in this manner, you know, when they grow old. For example, today, do you hear of Vipasa Vasu? No. Why don't you hear about Vipasa Vasu? She was there in the Mahesh Bhatt's uh, movies, uh, wearing nothing. Okay. Why don't you hear about all these uh, uh, women, uh, like even Madhuri Dikshit has become personalized. So it means that once they are used, they are thrown away, you know, and given a few, uh, you know, like you give a dog a bone, some bones are thrown to them, you know, to pacify them. So what means you give them some uh, income, you know, uh, to keep them happy. And of course, then, you, then, and then also I would say that there are old uh, politicians, you know, who do not mind them. You know? So they would be thrown to them as well. 
You remember Amar Singh. Amar Singh was often called as a pimp because he was the one dealing with women. And Vipashu Bosu was one of his favorite. And the ring was complete. They used to say that the ring was, it consisted of Boni Kapoor, uh, Amar Singh and Amitabh Bachchan. You know, so there was a ring going on there, which was what uh, you know, Sri Devi was going to expose. And that's how perhaps she got eliminated. So one more thing, uh, friends, is that uh, no doubt, uh, especially, uh, you know, in the film industry that, uh, you know, outsiders, you know, who come from small time villages, uh, you know, are exploited uh, by all these uh, film industry people, right? So they will try to, you know, make them a prostitute or something, right? And they will try to, you know, uh, exploit them to the uh, hilt. So, uh, you know, very innocent young um, men and women, they go, uh, you know, to the film industry with a lot of hope, uh, you know, of making it big and with, uh, you know, making a lot of money, uh, you know, sometime in the future. But uh, they're caught in this trap, right? Because uh, if you are not the son or daughter of a particular, per, you know, family who is well known in uh, Bollywood, then, uh, you know, your life is made miserable by the kebab. Just yeah. like how we saw with Sushant Singh Rajput, Jia Khan, right? Yeah. And uh, many other examples. Yeah. And also it's that, see, when they wear these kind of outfits, the men are, are leer at them. They don't, you know, respect them. They only leer at them, you know. And they, these women, you know, they try to bandage their insecurities in a world where they cannot match up to the sexy celebrity stereotypes of womanhood as shown by Bollywood, you know. So there is an insecurity within themselves, you know, and these girls, when they go to the bars, for example, you know, you see, you know, that famous scene where uh, this girl, uh, Saif, uh, Saif's daughter, uh, I forget her name always. And uh, Sarah. she, yes, yeah, Sarah Ali, she goes and cr catches the crotch of a watchman. Now, these women are themselves, you know, when they go to the clubs, they are touched, their bottoms are squeezed by these men coming up against them. And they are forcefully, you know, coerced into the bars. Sometimes drugs are put into their uh, drinks. And God alone knows what happens after that. Because we hear horrific tales of women being raped, you know, after being given uh, date drugs, you know. And they cannot walk. They are not, uh, you know, they stagger about. And if their uh, driver or their bodyguard doesn't catch them, you know, then you can imagine where they, they, where they would end up. And these are the women who are trying to influence the uh, present generation. It's a very frightening uh, thing that we are looking at uh, when you look at these women. And please realize that it is, uh, it's not a pattern. This is a, a sort of a diktat that they are setting, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, many a times I've seen when uh, the, in these uh, kids shows or in these uh, song programs, uh, Madhuri uh, Dixit is forced to dance with women like Kriti Sam. And Kriti, Kriti wears some, some mini dress where she can't dance the, you know, the vigorous steps that Madhuri does in a uh, Kathak steps, you know. So right. it's all very That's amusing, it. you know, and pathetic because Madhuri is trying to look like Kriti, you know, and Kriti is trying to look, trying to look like uh, Madhuri in a dance form, but wearing the wrong outfit. So even, um, you know, especially there's one more point to notice is that uh, women in their uh, early 40s and 50s who are well established in Bollywood and are actresses, uh, they are forced to, you know, somehow take all these Botox injections. They are forced to uh, do all these, uh, you know, uh, butt enhancement or, you know, breast implants to, uh, you know, somehow match up with the uh, present, uh, you know, actresses of Bollywood in terms of looks and, uh, you know, be sort of, uh, you know, attractive uh, for the viewers. Uh, you know, according to the Kapal. So this is another thing which is happening that is that uh, these uh, old uh, or yesteryear actresses, uh, they are forced to, you know, uh, make changes in their body, either through surgery or through implants, just to look young. You know, and if you ask these people, you know, if you ask these young girls, you know, friends of mine, their daughters, if you ask them, say, are you comfortable wearing 16 inch heels or seven inch heels? They say no. It's very painful if they have to walk in those heels. So then why do you do it? Because all the other girls are wearing it. 
you know so they keep keeping up to the uh, uh, peer pressure that they face you know many of them uh, walk the whole night in clubs and dance and go to the disco and everything in these high heels and they say that it hurts you know but it it is uh, uh, worth it because uh, you want to look good you know and beauty is pain so these are I mean, kind of uh, expressions uh, that they Prince, tell you. Um... One more point I have noticed is that in Telugu and Tamil films, uh, recently with Vijay's uh, latest uh, film song with uh, Rashmika Mandana, uh, I was uh, surprised at the kind of uh, dress which uh, Rashmika Mandana wore and the kind of exposure she did. It is very, very uh, you know unheard of in a Tamil film that uh, an actress is exposing to this extent. Uh, to which it looks like a you know Hollywood uh, actress who is exposing in uh, you know Hollywood film. So you can see how uh, you know now Telugu, uh, South Indian films are also you know starting to uh, have uh, actresses who are wearing wearing uh, skimpy clothes in the film scenes. Yeah, and also another very disturbing trend, friends. I don't know whether you've been following it in some of the most of the uh, you know modern schools uh, for girls. You will see that. See, there is a uh, it, it's a contest. You know, that normally sp uh, spills into aggression and even violence. You know, as the you know evening goes on and these uh, these girls start fighting over their boyfriends, you know, and they start attacking each other and cat fights happen and they pull each other's hair and they beat each other up. And if they're in a club, they, uh, they are, uh, you know, drinking excessively. And if you ask the men, you know, what do you feel about these women who are dressed like uh, strippers? They will only clearly say that, see, they are eye candy. You know, and these this kind of eye candy is free. You know, this kind of eye candy is free. You know, and they uh, it's as if they are doing some uh, sort of window shopping. And if the more drunk they are, the more chances that they can, uh, you know, get to sleep with them. So these are also, uh, you know, I would say that they are dangerous, uh, uh, dangerous trends because most of the times these girls are not, you know, they don't want to send the this kind of message, but they are dressing is proving that they are sending the wrong message. So uh, uh, by the time something happens, it's too late. If you look at the OTT platforms, you'll see plenty of stories where women, you know, are being uh, uh, raped, you know, under the, uh, you know, the, uh, the thing of either alcohol or drugs, you know, and uh, wearing these skimpy sort of clothes, giving the wrong ideas to men, because men are stupid, you know, once they, uh, you know, drink, and they're under this thing, they will see, uh, you know, uh, women as only pieces of flesh. Now, I'm not generalizing about men. What I'm saying is about the uh, men in such kind of atmospheres where they are in pubs or, you know. So men see them only as flesh. And they see them as free. So why not use them? So, uh, friends, this is something whether your parents or your uh, sisters, you have sisters who are young, uh, you know, it's your duty, you know, to protect them to warn them, to tell them that, see, uh, in a country like India, where you have the best women pilots, the best doctors, the best nurses, the best teachers, do not go into this kind of, uh, you know, uh, sort of peer pressure, you know, which is leading you the wrong way. You look very well dressed in an army dress, you know, or a teacher's dress or a uh, you know, doctor's dress. You are, you are respected even more. So these are things that have been inculcated right from the start. You know, and also any sort of mood alternatives, you know, do not, do not, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, encourage them to take to it. Even if it's a Christmas night and you want to share a, you know, a Christmas drink, don't give it to children. Don't make it a habit because once it becomes a habit, later they can't get out of it. And you know how alcohol is because a lot of the times, you know, when you drink alcohol, you feel very warm and you feel very happy. You know, there's a sort of bonhomie that happens in your mind that you think that everybody is good to you. But that's the time when people start exploiting. So I don't know whether, you know, this message that uh, we are sending across, uh, you know, is a serious one because uh, I'm seeing so much of this all around us, especially in the urban cities. Uh, young girls dying, young girls being hospitalized. Uh, you know, see, uh, so it's it's quite frightening. Yes, yes. Yeah, see, uh, one more thing which, uh, you know, came to my mind is that uh, awareness drives should be held in each and every school, high school, in colleges in India on how film industry 
culture is uh, polluting the minds of the youth there should be awareness drives there should be people educating the students in high school in colleges in india as to how you know uh, these things should be you know uh, educated uh, and uh, just like how you have um, you know sex education uh, in high school uh, like that you should have uh, you know uh, you should educate uh, the students on how wokeism is destroying indian culture right how modi ji okay yeah fast growing social media access and uh, technological changes have contributed to an increased a uh, pressure to look good and win applause yes i keep wondering how can we motivate positive uh, influencers uh, says josna yeah here josna i'd like to say that see when you talk about uh, when you interview a uh, you know a person who's from the army or when you, uh, you interview a doctor or a teacher you get inspired automatically because what they speak is not only sense it's also something that you aspire for so uh, a lot of this has to be educated through your children you know the children need to listen to these people you know and uh, also i would like to tell you friends that see uh, i watched a documentary i i don't know what the name of the documentary is uh, but i'll mention it in my uh, next session where you know a woman is used as a mule uh, for carrying uh, drugs from south america to america and uh, you know uh, how uh, this girl from ireland you know an innocent girl coming from a very good family Uh, she goes to Ibiza, and where she is, you know, caught in a sort of a crowd where there are drug dealers, and how she faces life in a prison, and how she gets out. It's a horror. This whole documentary uh, is something that every school should, you know, have because our children should see it, our college students should see it. The after effects of becoming a part of the drug ring. This woman was earlier. She took drugs, but after that, she was only a mule. She was a carrier. But even for that, she had to face a uh, prison for so many years. And what it done? It did to her psyche. So, see, a lot of the things, uh, you know, friends, when you uh, ask, uh, for example, uh, you know, you say that what can be done uh, to help our children? Let us encourage more documentaries made on these things, these negative factors. Even today, if you ask me. Uh, Janvi Kukrija's mother is fighting. She cannot sleep. Her, her husband can't sleep. Her, her uh, you know, daughter can't sleep after the death of Janvi Kukrija. What was her uh, crime? What was Janvi Kukrija's crime? Janvi Kukrija's crime was she was an innocent girl invited to a party at a third person's house where drugs and alcohol was being given, and where she became the target, the guinea pig of these drug crazed animals. and she was killed so brutally so don't let our children become victims of this you know don't let our children become victims of rape don't let you know expose our children to all these you know harmful things every time we see these children these nepo kids wearing these kind of clothes we cringe because if if they were our daughters you know god alone knows you know how upset we would feel to see them drunk or drugged if you look at you know the time when samir wakade was Uh, uh you know in the uh, you know in the in the city was that was a time when young girls like rakul preet and all the sara ali and all were pulled up for drugs ananya so can you imagine they are all not mules they may be uh, you know peddling drugs so otherwise they wouldn't have been caught and you look at the whatsapp conversations and you'll see clearly that they were dealing with drugs so you know if the hollywood uh, if a bollywood people don't care about their daughters you know we care so it is our our you know our uh, it's our duty to protect them if you ask the sunil shetty when he begged uh, yogi adityanath ji humne kya kiya humne to sirf acche do pictures dikhaye jaise border and some other patriotic movie he said you know but that was done uh, ages ago when he was a young uh, kid okay हमने क्या किया लुक एट द डैमेज व्हाट यू हैव डन यू आर द वंस यू नो हु मेड पीपल अंडरस्टैंड द ड्रग्स आर जस्ट लाइक यू नो व्हाट यू वुड से पैनाडोल यू नो यू गेट इट ओवर द काउंटर एंड इफ यू हैव द राइट सोर्सेस यू नो यू विल गेट इट इजीली सो यू आर द वंस हु टोल्ड अस द ड्रग्स आर इजी टू गेट एंड यू आर द वंस हु स्पॉइल्ड द यंगर जनरेशन you are the ones 
who are responsible for SSR stamp. So please do not tell us, don't boycott wallet. Till your system is cleansed, till our children are free of drugs, prostitution, trafficking, you know, we will continue to fight. So all these images that we are watching, I'm sorry, friends, but uh, we had to extend this session about the, you know, the topic that, that we had in hand. We couldn't go to the other uh, news that we had kept for you, which we will do tomorrow. But this is something that has been troubling all of us. Just yesterday when I saw this Kajal's daughter, you know, uh, loitering around like, you know, she didn't even know what she's doing. And uh, I don't know, was it a watchman or was it a security guard or was it a driver who took her in a car at a party where the mother and father were there? How responsible is a mother that a daughter, you know, behaves like this? So it's not only her. You look oh, at uh, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, I would like to uh, point. This is a very good point, which I noticed from Munmun. Bollywood has polluted Mumbai culture so much that now college students, office goers, or even school children are addicted to smoking. Even acting schools promote smoking, says it's relaxing. So this is a very valid point. And I also noticed when I went to a supermarket uh, in, in India that, uh, you know, uh, I was talking to the shopkeeper there and uh, he, I was asking who are the main customers, uh, you know, for uh, cigarettes. So he said uh, it is uh, young uh, school going girls who are the biggest customers of cigarettes. Now, uh, just recently in the budget, uh, which Nirmala, you know, announced uh, just a few weeks back, uh, Nirmala says uh, there's a hike in uh, cigarette tax, you know, in the new budget, which is a good thing because if they increase the price of cigarette, you know, to the customer, you know, then, uh, you know, uh, I, hopefully that will uh, stop um, many of these, uh, you know, people from buying cigarettes and, you know, becoming healthy. So you can see how, uh, you know, they have influenced uh, the youth to a certain extent by, you know, smoking cigarettes. Yeah. In fact, some time back, uh, you know, a bakery was selling drug, uh, cakes laced with drugs. Okay. And in Kerala, uh, you know, a, 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 a shop that was selling uh, mocktails, you know, drinks that were laced with drugs. So people, you must understand that we live in a society where everything is not hunky-dory. There are people who are trying to increase the drug sales by getting your children addicted. You know, many a times we don't notice. You always say that, see, when you go for a party, keep hugging your drink because you don't know, know who will put something in your drink. You know, so these are things that are terrible. I mean, if you uh, look at the number of cases and uh, you look at these uh, uh, TikTok, uh, luckily it's all banned, uh, how these girls were dying. Even today, you know, let me tell you the truth. You, you, when you talk about Facebook, okay, Facebook keeps telling us that blah, 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 you cannot talk about any other religion. But you can talk about Sanatana Dharma, you can abuse it like anything. Now these very people, if you go to these shops, you will see that they are promoting sex. Okay, in these uh, villages, they are showing young, small, young girls who are not even out of their teens, dancing with the least clothes and catering to men or young boys who look at her like animals. So Google or Facebook, is that okay for you? Okay, you can make fun of Hinduism, you know, but we can't make fun of any other religion because you'll make, you'll ban us from Facebook. But you can get these people, and usually these are peaceful people who are spreading these uh, shots, in which it's pathetic. Please, friends, have a look and please complain. Okay. That these shots come exactly after your Rashmika's dance, you know, after your Madhuri Dixit's dance. Okay. Just go keep on scrolling. As you scroll, you will find that more and more weird shots are coming. And that is disturbing you, okay? So please complain about it because you're trying to show uh, everybody that India is a vulgar country. It is not. You are projecting it as that. And you are pushing this culture. 
the same thing bd bd chadai do you know those are the songs that are being promoted in these events it's a fact see if you if a woman exposes herself men will look that is a tendency but you yourself are saying that you are uh, you know censoring facebook if you are censoring facebook this is the first thing that you should censor because this is what teens look for and this is what makes young girls commit suicide so please this is another area friends that you should look at and you should complain because let us let not our our what do you call our beautiful country our country like india suffer because of these you know a uh, sort of hate hatred mongers who want to pull our country down so this is a very very strong message that you should be giving your friends also one, 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 sorry uh, one more point i would like to add is that uh, you know they have these songs in bollywood and the bollywood actors who are taking part in that particular film song will come on uh, youtube or facebook and will ask the audience to make uh, you know dance uh, or choreography videos on that particular song and post it on shorts so you can see how they are uh, uh, you know again uh, encouraging uh, you know the people to make uh, videos you know on this on these dirty songs absolutely you know yeah you know see another thing that i wanted to say uh, you know before we end the show is that see we have a lot of foreigners coming to india and dressing very beautifully you know in our traditional costumes and looking beautiful with everything that's traditional and you have our silly generation you know egged by their parents wearing these sort of clothes and promoting the wrong attitude so friends advise keep on advising people sometimes they won't listen to you tell them of the you know the after you know after your child dies or after your child has an accident you can't do anything before that to prevent it let this happen keep on you may you know they, they may hate you for what you do but at least you made one parent you know you changed one parent or you changed one child do it you know do it as a part it's it's your duty to contribute something to india we are all taking from india how much are we giving back to our country this is something you can do my us born daughter shocked to see urfi she says you spoke high of bollywood i said i left in 90 changed a lot since Jyotsna says more positive influences like you and Jaydeep many parents and families have to come out of their cocoon and be vocal as it's high time now Vinal says good topic big concern for parents these days Vinny foreigners are accepting hinduism and wearing indian clothes nowadays Dhanushree in fact uh, some bollywood movies are promoting alcohol smoke and drugs as cool culture Not some most of the films yeah. are Dhanushree's yes Javed Akhtar praised Gulzar for BD uh, Jalai Re at the Farmer's Book Lodge. Yes, that is the kind of song that he should, his wife should sing for him. A very delicate and difficult relationship nowadays with the younger generation. These nepokira all sick. Go where to doctors raised from good families. They laugh at middle class families. Bon Boni Kapoor now making Tamil movies only. Suddenly out of bankruptcy thanks to D to eliminate Sri Devi. Got truckload of money now. Jyotsna says, "Well, I live in Chicago and have a son in high school. I'm concerned about what's going on in India. Thank you for that, Jyotsna. Oh, sorry, I'm sure Jyotsna. with a good mother like you know, as yourself, nothing adverse will happen. But keep advising your son. Kriti Sanan and mom are educated. Still, she wears demeaning clothes all the time. What is the use of the education? Another thing I find very, very uh, sad is that someone like Disha Patni, you know, she comes, I think, from an army background, and uh, she's a beautiful girl." but if you see her the way she's wearing uh, the kind of clothes that she wears and the kind of look that she has you know that she's lost and she has a foreigner as a boyfriend you know who keeps looking at her body you know as if you know that's the only thing in his mind so these are things that you really need to uh, be very careful about javed now in wheelchair more body failure to come for the faming in this and that is karma with this we end this session Uh, Jay Devan and myself. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, Mayur Kalva uh, said he will join us tomorrow uh, for a, a wonderful session tomorrow. So please join us at eight tomorrow. Good night and Jay Hind. Okay.